ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಸಕ್ಕತ್ ಸುದ್ದಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸಕ್ಕತ್ ಮಾತುಕತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮತ್ತು ಗೋವಾ ರೀಜನ್ನ ಆದಾಯ ತೆರಿಗೆ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಆಯುಕ್ತರಾದಂತಹ ಬಾಲಕೃಷ್ಣನ್ ಅವರು ತೆರಿಗೆ ಪಾವತಿದಾರರಿಗೆ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾವ ವಿಚಾರಗಳನ್ನು ತೆರಿಗೆ ಪಾವತಿದಾರರು ಪಾಲಿಸಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಬನ್ನಿ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಅವ್ರ ಜೊತೆ ಮಾತುಕತೆ ಶುರು ಮಾಡೋಣ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಜುಲೈ ಅಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ನಾವು ಆದಾಯ ತೆರಿಗೆ ಪಾವತಿ ಮಾಡುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸಂದರ್ಭ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದು ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತು ಆದರೆ ಕಳೆದ ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾರತ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಮಾಡಿದಂತಹ ಅನೇಕ ಬದಲಾವಣೆಗಳು ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಹಣಕಾಸಿನ ವಿಚಾರವಾಗಿ ಮತ್ತು ತೆರಿಗೆಯ ವಿಚಾರವಾಗಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಜ್ಞಾನವನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಜಾಗೃತಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಕಾರಣ ಆಗಿದೆ ಕಾರಣ ಕಳೆದ ಆರ್ಥಿಕ ವರ್ಷದ ಆದಾಯ ತೆರಿಗೆ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಈ ವರ್ಷ ಅಂದರೆ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನೆಂಟರ ಏಪ್ರಿಲ್ನಿಂದ ಮೂವತ್ತೊಂದು ಏಳು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನೆಂಟರ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಫೈಲ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದು ಇಲಾಖೆ ನಿರಂತರವಾಗಿ ಜಾಗೃತಿಯನ್ನು ಮೂಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಆದರೆ ಮೊದಲು ಹೀಗಿತ್ತ ಮೊದಲು ನಾವು ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಎರಡು ಆರ್ಥಿಕ ವರ್ಷಗಳವರೆಗೆ ಕಾಲಾವಕಾಶ ಇತ್ತು ಈಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭ ಮತ್ತು ನಾವು ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಜುಲೈ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಫೈಲ್ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಇರುವಂತಹ ಲೇಟ್ ಫೀಸ್ ಅಂತ ಏನು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಡಿಸೆಂಬರ್ ಟೆನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಮಾಡೋದು ಅನ್ನುವಂಥ ಕುತೂಹಲ ನಿಮಗೂ ಇರಬಹುದು ಬನ್ನಿ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಕಮಿಷನರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಬಾಲಕೃಷ್ಣನ್ ಅವರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಹಿತಿಯನ್ನು ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಫಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ and also if you want to pick up a case for scrutiny there also we used to find problems so this uh, issue of uh, fixing a late fee if the return is filed after the due date which is the 31st of july is meant to ensure uniformity in return filing so that the database also gets uh, populated at a very early date this is the intention behind putting a late fee of 5000 rupees up to 31st december and 10000 rupees after that wherever the income is above 5 lakhs from this assessment year onwards uh, sir at the same time usually many people they think that i have a form 16 i have a tds certificate so that means i have filed my returns so in the wrong uh, impression many people are not ready to file or they are not aware of the filing of income tax returns so in the meantime in the public if we see the public awareness of the programs the department mm. is conducting regularly to the public so this year i think we are observing more popular and awareness programs mm. so uh, the intention behind this awareness is only to avoid the late fees to be collected from the assessees or or else if there is any other thing no this is part of our process of reaching out to the taxpayers who are obviously the most important stakeholders in the system now about this issue that even if tax is deducted from the salary which is more or less at 30% please remember that from bank deposits fdrs income from house property etc some tax would be payable tds from bank deposits if you give pan is only at 10% whereas in many cases it would be payable at uh, 30% tax would be payable at 30% and if you de- delay filing the return you will be liable for interest on that so to avoid all this please do file returns in time see one more point which uh, if i can request our salaried tax payers in karnataka and bangalore uh, we know that it sector is very important in bangalore and many people do get very high salaries here but in a few unfortunate cases we notice this temptation to claim bogus losses like by claiming 
uh, wrong interest not which is not actually claimed which is not actually paid was claimed under the income from house property creating bogus losses under that head and setting that off against other salary income no there may be people who are tempting our uh, salary taxpayers to resort to this kind of thing i would uh, very sincerely request people please don't go down this path because what will happen at the end of the thing is you will get caught and then you will be liable for penalty and prosecution and the person who has tempted you down this path will get away scot free so please don't give in to such temptations 30% is or or lower is a very reasonable tax rate please do pay that so ivattina ee karyakramalli konaya prashneyanna balakrishnan avaru kelana Uh, sir, actually, when I have a salary income, mm. if I have a rental income also or other source of income mm. also, in general, many people they declare only only salary income because of uh, lack of knowledge or for any other reasons. Mm. So in that case, I think if we compare the property transactions for the last financial year and uh, along with the salary income or any other source of income, so if they forget to declare those incomes. so what will be the uh, uh, future obligations and uh, oh, for those people what you want to address sir no the first thing is i would appeal to you as patriotic uh, citizens of the country please do show all uh, sources of income which are liable to be taxed in your return please do not claim bogus or non existent deductions but i would also like to bring to your attention that the income tax department has a very widespread system of intelligence and uh, data collection we collect information from banks from cooperative societies from a variety of sources vehicles etc sub registrars etc and if you uh, care to go and look at your 26 as in the e filing thing you will see that a lot of the transactions in which you have entered into are reflected there so as and when your case comes up for processing or otherwise this will get reflected so please do not give in to this temptation or by omission do not forget to include all sources of income in your income tax return so finally before concluding the discussion uh, i just want to ask you about the cpc which is processing the refunds very soon very mm -hmm. fast uh, the especially salaried people and the pensioners who is uh, waiting for the refunds mm -hmm. from uh, last financial year before last year mm -hmm. whatever is there so will it be possible to make those cases the pending cases of the refund which is not issued last year so will it be possible if we file this year return also immediately along with that many people are expecting those refunds also still so in that case pendency of the refunds so is there any technical reason which is withheld or which is pending no if the return is properly filed and there is no prior demand outstanding i believe the cpc is issuing refunds within 60 days uh, and especially for smaller taxpayers or pensioners there should not be any issue whatsoever the refund should get issued in a very fast time without any manual intervention if that doesn't happen we have this uh, whole system of e nivaran of uh, call center at the cpc please do call up and check i'm sure you will get it that is the general practice the feedback we are getting is that most people are getting their refunds very very soon thank you so much sir uh, for uh, hmm. uh, speaking speaking with us about the filing of income tax returns and also the refund issues and as a uh, responsible citizen so we should file before 31st month adu balakrishnan avaru ella nagarikarige helta irakkanta maatu ಹಾಗಿದ್ರೆ ಸಕ್ಕರ್ ಸುದ್ದಿಯ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಈ ಸಕ್ಕತ್ ಮಾತಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ವಿಚಾರಗಳನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಸಿಕೊಟ್ಟಂತಹ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮತ್ತು ಗೋವಾ ರೀಜನ್ನ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಕಮಿಷನರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಬಾಲಕೃಷ್ಣನ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಥ್